It's that most awkward tradition in the uh, professional Western world, the office party. Well, hello and welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. The uh, wife and kids are in the other room decorating Christmas cookies. Yay! And um, I'm in here drinking a beer. So uh, everyone's happy. Um, today I will be drinking the Abita Limited Series Office Party. I don't know if this is an annual release by Abita, unlike their Christmas Ale, which is a, an annual release, I do believe. Um, yeah, so we'll find out. It is a stout, as opposed to the Christmas Ale, which is probably like a brown ale or a spiced ale. And, uh, it is described as, uh, let's see here. It's a holiday stout brewed with oats, pale caramel, and chocolate malts, and hopped with Willamette hops. Um, they did actually spice it. The adjuncts they used were cocoa nibs, cinnamon, vanilla, and nutmeg. So I'm expecting this to have a rather pronounced um, chocolate and, and spice character. Typically, when you're looking at a chocolate stout, you are not looking at a stout that actually has chocolate or cocoa nibs or some chocolate product added to it. Typically, you're looking at the use of the malts and, and hops that were used working together to produce a chocolate flavor. This actually has chocolate in it. So we'll see how that actually applies to the final beer, as it were. And uh, so let's dive in. Eh? So, being a stout, it's dark. Duh. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Okay, that smells freaking amazing. Um, it smells like there's almost a minty. It, it smells like a, like a York almost, but with better chocolate. But then there's also this, this, uh, this spice character that's still there. Um, so, I mean, there's no mint adjunct in this. So the, the mintiness is just me smelling something and interpreting it. But um, there's a there's kind of a warm, like a milk chocolate note in there. I know Yorks are dark chocolate. It smells like a like more of a, like a milk chocolate, but a good, smooth, creamy chocolate. And, and then there's kind of this almost kind of pepperminty bite to the aroma. And then there's just this underlying spice, the... Probably the nutmeg and cloves more than the cinnamon. I would imagine that as this warms, the, the mint would probably disappear. It's just what I would think um, in, the, in the smell, that it would probably be more uh, warm chocolate and spice notes as it, as it warms. This has been out of the fridge five minutes maybe. Probably should have taken it out earlier. <laughs> oh well. Enjoy it as it is, not as I wish it to be. Hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, I think this beer needs to be warmer. I'm gonna say that up front. That said, right now, I'm picking up two distinct parts of the flavor of the beer. Right up front is a really light, almost watery chocolate with a touch and hint of mint. And then afterwards is this nice kind of spicy holiday bread. Cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg, your standard, you know, selection of, of holiday uh, spices. It does have kind of this, this separation. I'm expecting as it warms that this middle is going to become more pronounced and it's going to tie the two different flavors together because right now it's like this light watery chocolate and mint right at the beginning and then this kind of warmth that it's almost like the pause between the two between the the chocolate mint and then the um and then the warm bready spices so i want it to come up to temp a bit not every beer drinks cold right got it So I'm just cupping it in my hands. Hopefully that'll speed things up a bit. I have warm hands. 
until they take on the cold of the beer and impart their warmth to the beer. Um, yeah, whatever. Okay, that's better. It's getting there. What I'm tasting now is it is definitely more of a dry, dark chocolate. With a bit of that waxiness you get in candy bar chocolate, because they have to add wax to stabilize it, paraffin or various stabilizers, you know, so it stays hard at your finger temperature. Um, so it does taste a bit like a candy bar chocolate, which is fine. It's just fine. It's not an unpleasant flavor. If anything, it's evocative. It's memories. It's the, the, the taste of your, you know, happy moments. And uh, so it's got that, and that's kind of warming more. That's blooming. And it draws this connection then between the front chocolate to this spiciness. And so it comes across now as almost a, a spiced, it's not a hot chocolate yet. It's not that, it's not that level of like creaminess, but it's, it's definitely the, the chocolate's there. And as this warms, I would guess this could probably serve at room temperature, um, just based on what I'm tasting right now. It's not that stiff. It's only a 6.8%. Um, but I would guess that this Abita office party could probably handle just fine being served at room or close to room temperature. What I appreciate about this beer, the chocolate is not this kind of punch your punch you in the face sweetness. It's it's not this chewy mouthful. Despite being a stout, this is deceptively or or surprisingly um, mild um, for a stout. It it still drinks really kind of refreshing, which is which is not something you'd necessarily expect from a stout. Um, so it, it, it drinks like a, a lighter beer than it is. And, and that's probably some of the fact, you know, some of that kind of wateriness to the chocolate. Um, but it, it doesn't drink like this really chewy mouthful. You can easily drink this whole bottle yourself and you could have a second and probably a third without any problem when it comes to flavors. It's not, you're not really going to want to age this, I don't think. It just doesn't have that depth and that strength. Um, it's not, it doesn't feel decadent. It feels light and like a really pleasant way to spend a bit of time. As it warms, it does get a bit closer to a, a hot chocolate, but it doesn't ever, I don't think it's ever going to quite reach that. Um, but yeah, it's a good beer. I like it. I like it. A good beer. I have no empirical standard of that in my mind or tongue. It is a beer that I enjoy. It has some very interesting characteristics to it that differ from other stouts. It hits all the points of stereotypical um, holiday flavors, like I've mentioned in some of my other uh, beer review videos, especially recently talking about what is it that makes a Christmas beer. This makes a very nice Christmas or holiday beer. Perfectly acceptable. Um, and that's exactly what you expect. So on that note, I'm gonna say this is a winner. <laughs> Even if it is just the office party. Anyways, I'm Matthew. This is the Abita Office Party Special Release Holiday Stout. And I'll catch y'all on the flip side. <laughs>